Hey everybody, we are back with another review, and today we got some boxes from Amazon, to pick us from whatnot, pick us from eBay. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. Let's see what we have. Oh, I got a pickup from the Disney store, which isn't going to be great either. <laughs> so let's see what we got today. Um, all right, first one we got up is an eBay box, which has, all right, we have a Origins figure in there. Let's see what we ended up getting. I know we got Evil in, but let's see if she's damaged or not. Pretty nice pack job on this one there, Mr. eBay seller. Very nice. Very, very nice. Unpunched, Evil in. Finally. Uh, I bought five of these. And they all were damaged. And I finally got one that wasn't damaged. And uh, the other four that I bought were on Amazon. And apparently they didn't know how to ship action figures because they shipped them all in poly bags. So every one of them got destroyed. Most of them had the bubble uh, blister pack broken off from the back card. So I said, uh, I'll go over to eBay and give it a shot. And lo and behold, first shot we took on eBay was a score. So we got an unpunched evil lymph. Finally have one of those that are not destroyed and damaged which is really nice. All right, next up we got is here. Let me show you how terrible this one was. Let me make sure we got the address or, hang on, my invoice taken out of the box. People love putting these invoices in these damn boxes. Uh, here we go. This is what my box showed up as. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? But lo and behold, luckily we got Orange Bird who was a minty. This came directly from Shop Disney, as you can see here. I don't even know what this is right here. I think this was some kind of an air pillow that just didn't really work out for them, I guess. I don't know. We got Orange Bird. And this is... Let me get my... So we can see a little bit better without the glare. There's that. We got Orange Bird Flocked. And this is a Disney Shop exclusive. As you can see, the SE on it. You can't go buy this anywhere else. Only at Disney if you went to a park. Um, you could get this. But other than that, you're not getting it. So here it is right here. Flocked Orange Bird. Very, very cool. Like I said, again, it came from the, came from the actual park. But I had to order it online. So Orange Bird Flocked. That's pretty cool, actually. He's kind of tiny. I was... But do I have any other ones around here? Like, here, let me grab this. We'll grab this Skeletor. Like, he's just kind of tiny, but, I mean, it is Orange Bird, so, you know what I mean? He's not supposed to be, like, a hulking, massive figure. But I would have thought he would have been a little bit bigger in regards to filling up the window. But we got Orange Bird, nonetheless. And an unpunched Evil Lynn, which is nice. What do we get here? We got a box from Amazon, and in there is... Oh, nice. We got a Primal Age figure. Or Savage World, Primal Age, Savage World, whatever. They're all the same. They're figures made by Funko, which kind of had this Masters of the Universe slash wrestling vibe to it. But they just have, like, they're just, like, it was, like, poorly executed, which is why these weren't successful. But some of these are great little stand-in pieces for my Motu set. And I bought Mr. Freeze here because he looks like, he I mean, you wouldn't tell he's Mr. Freeze. You buy the Batman one, I mean, it's definitely Batman. You know what I'm saying? You buy Wonder Woman, it's definitely Wonder Woman. Joker, definitely Joker. But like Scarecrow, Aquaman, Mr. Freeze, uh, and I also have uh, other Savage World ones like uh, Freddy Krueger. They kind of don't look like, I don't know, the, I think the horror ones look a little bit less like, I guess. Um, eh, I guess I'm not going to peel that, actually. I'll, I'll actually just cut him out like a normal figure. They look like they don't really... They could go in, like, a, a Masters of the Universe set. Like, if you just had these figures out of package and you didn't know this was Mr. Freeze, and I was like, oh, yeah, he's just, uh, this guy's just part of the evil horde. You'd be like, oh, yeah, all right, he looks, he looks like he fits in. Um, to at least some of the older figures, if you would. Let's see what he all comes with here. All right, he comes with a square shield, which clips onto his hand. He comes with an ice brand sword. See, this is the problem I was talking about. They just didn't figure it out. I don't know what they were thinking, Funko. You know, like, Funko does some cool stuff, but then Funko is, like, drops the ball a lot. Like, the only part that we have that's able to hold something is these two little 
fingers here, the middle and the thumb finger. And then once it's in the hand, like my Aquaman one has like this um, long trident and it, it just, it basically just slides all around janky style. And the only thing that we got that's actually holding it is like the grippage from this, but there's no bend in the fingers whatsoever. Like there is no bend. You can't bend these fingers back at all without snapping them. They're extremely rigid plastic. And then he also has this like, I guess, ice death grip he could put on there. You can clip that on. I mean, that kind of looks cool. It's like a Terra Claus Skeletor type of thing. But even that, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like I said, it's extremely loose. The grippage, because it's not, it's not a, it's not tight. Meant to be uh, spread open to hold the weapon or the accessory. It's more so just, just tight, rigid. Doesn't want to move. And if you could get it in there, hopefully it stays in there. And then he has a. Uh, he has a frozen helmet. So he kind of looks like a, um, a white from Game of Thrones, which is kind of cool. Let's see if he stands up. How does he stand up? Eh, just as bad as the other ones. I'm not sure what kind of ball joint. Almost maybe makes me think they do like leg bands in these because they return back to their form and versus them like staying in a posable. Like I can't have them be like that because it wants to like bend back to its natural form. I don't want to break anything by trying to pry into that, but I'm I'm going to assume it's like you see how loose his sword is. Um, I want to assume that it's leg bands. Like I said, these figures didn't take off. Very little articulation. It's very rigid. The articulation. Great design on these in regards to what it looks aesthetically. Is that something that can come off? No, I can't. I guess maybe it could if you could separate his torso, but. It doesn't even look like this part comes off like the old Masters of the Universe accessories. And it's actually glued to his chest. So yeah, that's not coming off at all. I don't know, kind of uh, kind of disappointed in these Primal Age Savage World ones. But like I said, they, they're on clearance right now wherever you buy action figures. Uh, like I, said, I got this one from Amazon. I think I paid $5 for it. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I figured, hey, I'll check, out, I'll check them out. I bought it, like I said, I bought it, quite a few of them. Uh, from the different lines that they have. Let's see, we got a box here. Please do not crush Frank White. Well, I don't know where, this is probably from eBay then, I'm assuming. Let's see what we got. We know it's not Venom Kingpin. Hey, Flocked Mossman, very cool. Toys R Us exclusive, Flocked Mossman, very dope. I have a Flocked Beast Man. And I have all these actually back here, uh, and then some. So um, I have the entire Masters Universe set pretty much, uh, except for like six, which are probably the most expensive ones. They're all like three plus in regards to how much their uh, resale value is right now. So I just kind of held off on those because I'm not looking to spend 1500 or 600 on a single pop. Not my thing. But uh, I do have the entire Red Box series, and in regards to the Castle Grayskull designed one, I have all but six. So, like I said, I have, a, I have quite a few of these, actually, uh, that I scooped up over the past uh, year or so. So, Flux, there you see. He doesn't even stand up good enough to get hit in the sword. Very delicate, those Savage World ones. We got Flux Moss, man. That's a good pickup. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this is a pickup from Whatnot. This is from, we got Quick Draw McGraw. We got a pickup from Quick Draw. Some Deadpool sticker action. 